love my channel and would like to show your support, please click on the link below this video and become the patron of the Oshanka Show. For as little as one dollar, you can help us grow and create the new interesting videos about the life in Soviet Union. Hello comrades and welcome back to the Oshanka Show. Greetings from the northern Ukraine. Right now I'm standing in front of an abandoned school uh, in my home village, uh, more precisely my mother's home village in the northern Ukraine. This is the school that she attended. Uh, it was closed about uh, 15, maybe uh, year, 10 years ago since they don't have enough kids in this uh, village anymore. Uh, but my mother attended it in 1950s. Uh, she was born in 1948. Uh, so she went to this school uh, till the 8th grade, then she had to go to the uh, school in the next village to finish so-called high school. Uh, this building has a really interesting uh, story. Uh, it used to be a uh, private residence of one of the local landlords. Uh, his name was Paretsky, uh, Platon Paretsky, who was actually a famous Russian uh, scientist. This is a little placard. So from 1889 till 1907, uh, here lived the uh, famous Russian scientist and uh, professor of mathematics, uh, Poretsky Platon. So he passed away in 1907, right before uh, the Russian Revolution 1917, so he kind of, you could say, got lucky. Uh, his wife, uh, the widow, she barely escaped uh, uh, Russian troops or Soviet troops in 1920s when they started hunting down the landlords in Ukraine they took care of the people landlords in Russia and then when Stalin came to power and started pushing forcible collectivization uh, they came to Ukraine and there were about four or five big landlords in this village and they most of them got killed or they left in advance and his residence got turned to school. So right now it's really interesting. If you see, it's like the old, uh, new skin peeling off and you see the old skin. You see the old building. In 1980s they installed uh, bricks around the building. So there's the original building, which probably log cabin with the boards over it. And then they installed the brick, but now the brick is collapsing, exposing the original building and the original treatment uh, uh, ornament, so it's pretty neat the way it looks. As I said, it's abandoned for over 10-15 years, some windows are broken, and uh, broken glass got replaced. It's also interesting if you look, I don't know if you can see, it's reflecting too much, but it's the uh, German language, uh, oh, right here maybe, I'm looking at a different window. Okay, so right here you could see it's a uh, they were studying German language, so that's the boards, uh, study boards from the German class that now are used for uh, blocking the windows. It's really sad, really nice building, real nice location, no one needs it. Uh, so people just come and steal remaining of the brick, so this wall is slowly disappearing. So this is the main entrance. And it says, uh, Jovic Middle School and I just talked to the lady who rode the bike she recognized me so she told me that there's a couple other abandoned buildings here this one right here uh, this is a used to be a kitchen so there were just classes this one is another building this is a it was a chemistry lab so it said separately right across the fields so of course all this was you know it was just a dirt but now it's all overgrown with grass. So here they had a um, initial school. So first the third grade kids studied in this building. So that would be like elementary school was right here. And a half of this building was library. Uh, small warehouses in the back. And also they had a, their own uh, water well. Right there somewhere. Of course it's also abandoned. So. Interesting, I just asked my mom, she said that, uh, you know, the Poretsky passed away in 1907 and he got buried up here 
at a cemetery, but what his wife got lucky. She got uh, somebody told her that you need to leave before tomorrow the uh, Soviets come and they are confiscating everything and they're killing most of the landlords. So she just grabbed whatever valuable possessions she had, uh, hop in a, you know, in a cab, horse cab, and she left. I, I couldn't find the, where did she go, if she survived, but she just abandoned everything and left behind. Uh, some other big landlords, we had about five landlords in this village. Uh, several of them got killed, their buildings got burned. Uh, but as I said, uh, Platon Parietsky got lucky because he died right before uh, the revolution and all that uh, uh, collectivization and other things started happening. I'll put the link below this video with, uh, from his biography on Wikipedia. It's quite interesting. And uh, you might ask, like, how in the world did he end up in this middle of nowhere uh, village? Uh, he married the widow. So this lady, his wife, she was a widow and she lived here so he somehow met her and came from Russia and settled here and lived for a long time. Uh, according to my mom apparently he was a very good landlord. Um, he wasn't rich because he spent a lot of money around here. Uh, there's a small old bridge that he built. Um, local peasants didn't have a bridge they had to uh, walk through the river, uh, wander through the river by foot so he built the bridge out of his pocket and also uh, he was uh, generous uh, helping people who were in need so he was a very nice landlord so people had no bad feelings about him but of course when soviets came they didn't care because any uh, rich people were bad people uh, so as i said my mom spent eight years studying this school and with every year it was less and less kids going to the school at some point it just came I was no it's a pretty big building as you see uh, there was no more no more reason to have a school because only only a couple of kids attend so now they have some kind of school bus service and we don't have a lot of kids around here I mean the whole village has about 180 people uh, so they uh, bus the kids to the other uh, village which still have school and there is no school in our village, so this is kind of interesting. I thought you might enjoy this video. Really complicated history in this region, and now it's all, as I said, our village slowly dying out. Uh, there's a lot of abandoned homes around here. You can't hear anymore. This, this is probably a busy place. There was a lot of kids laughing, running around, and now it's just eerie, eerie quietness and nothing else going on. No blacktop, no concrete driveway, it's all dirt roads, dirt paths. This is Northern Ukraine. Well, thank you for very much for watching my channel. As always, don't forget to put likes under my videos and share with your friends. We'll talk to you later. Goodbye.